So why don't glasses help optic neuritis? Howdy, my name's Aaron Boster. I'm an MS neurologist in Columbus, Ohio. And in this video, I'm gonna be answering that exact question. Don't turn away because all of that starts right now. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. In this video, I wanted to address a question asked by a viewer, PM, who writes, why don't glasses help optic neuritis? That's a great question. Grab pen and paper and let's jump in. When someone is nearsighted or farsighted, they have blurred vision. When someone suffers from an optic neuritis, they have blurred vision. And so that's a reasonable question, why glasses wouldn't then help someone's blurred vision with optic neuritis. It's tempting to think of the eye as one structure, but in reality, it's a complex series of structure. And the answer to your question, PM, is that the problem when someone's near or farsighted, which is corrected by glasses, is very different from the problem with optic neuritis. Allow me to explain. When someone like myself is nearsighted, and right now I can barely see the screen where I'm trying to record this video, it's a problem with optics. It's a problem with the way that light hits my eye and is focused in the back of my eye. This is very similar to when you're trying to use a camera and it's out of focus and you have to adjust the focus. Once you adjust the optics of the camera, things are lined up and then the message coming back is crisp and clear. When you need eyeglasses to correct nearsighted or farsighted vision, it's actually a problem with the physical shape of your eyeball. The shape is off, and so it's not bouncing light back correctly. And this glasses that I use refocuses that light and allows my vision to be intact, which I'm grateful for because I really can't see very well without my glasses. Now the problem when someone has an optic neuritis has nothing to do with the shape of their eyeball. It has to do with the structure behind the eyeball, something called the optic nerve. So let's pretend that my fist here is the eyeball and light comes in this way. And let's pretend that my forearm is the optic nerve. This is the nerve or the wire, if you will, that sends the light information back. In the setting of an optic neuritis, there's nothing wrong with the physical eyeball. There's a problem with the optic nerve. It becomes inflamed and it swells. Now when that optic nerve swells, it causes discomfort when you move your eye left to right and up and down. It also interrupts the electrical light messages going back through that nerve. It's kind of like having a traffic jam on a highway. If this is the highway, there's a traffic jam and light can't get back. So the reason the person with optic neuritis can't see very well is because the nerve is inflamed, not because the eyeball is misshapen. When we treat optic neuritis, we give someone high dose corticosteroids, like IV solumedrol, for example. And what that does is it decreases the swelling on the optic nerve. It has no impact on the eye. I really appreciate that question, PM. And I love the fact that you're trying to think through the problem. Neurology is pretty darn interesting. And I hope that this helps you better understand why glasses won't help an optic nerve problem. Optic neuritis is a classic example of a multiple sclerosis attack, but there's all kinds of different MS attacks. And if you'd like to learn more about MS relapses and ways to treat them, click the video that's on your screen right now. 